Hey everybody, welcome to our noon live. I am Heather and Renee and I come to you live each and every day so you learn more and more about Luminous, what we have to offer, how to apply it, what to do with it because we have so many products um, and so such amazing products that we want to make sure that you love it just as much as we love it. And so um, that's why we do come to you live so often. Um, so you are able to experience it because I know a lot of people get the system home and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to love it. And they get it home and they're like, do I open it? What do I do? So the first step is to open it. And we want to make sure that you are getting it out and you are practicing. So you might have ordered a kit that looks like this. And our kits do come with foundation. We give you two bottles of foundation. We also give you a bottle of love and a bottle of blush. Now the blush and the love are smaller bottles because it might not be something you use every single day. Um, the blush, really, you're only using drops at a time. You can start with about two drops uh, because the blush is super high pigmented, meaning it's going to bloom. It's going to intensify once it completely dries. And then this is what we want you to do when you first get it is get that bad boy out and just start playing with it. You're going to as soon as you turn it on, it already comes put together. So as soon as you feel it, you know, turn it on, there's air that comes out and you're going to feel that and you're just going to love it because it feels so amazing. And so just practice with that. I mean, this is actually practicing is just feeling that air around your face because you do want to make sure that you keep moving the stylus that you are about four finger widths away. You're going to stay about right here. Um, and that you barely pull back on the trigger. Those are the things that you're going to want to practice when doing it. So you can practice with the air. You can practice with water. Um, anything like that. I don't know who's calling me right now. Uh, but you can start practicing with water. And that way you're not using the product. You're just practicing with water and getting used to it. Because you're going to love it. You do not want to go a day without being airbrushed. And you're probably going to kick yourself going, why didn't I do this earlier? Uh, and so make sure you do jump in and do this. Hey, Patty. And hey, Deborah. Good to see you guys. So good to see you on this Monday morning or afternoon now. Um, all right. So I am going to do a very natural look. Hey, Jeannie. Good to see you. I'm going to do a natural look and I'm going to stick to what is in our starter kit. I'm going to um, just add one thing of uh, glow which I'm going to put on first. So I'm going to shake up my glow and glow is a highlighter. It is a hydration highlighter, but truly, truly highlighter. So I'm going to put about, I think that was about three drops and I'm going to use it on my lids. If you hear any like rattling, it's thunder. It's horrible thunderstorm right now. <laughs> and so if you're like, what's that noise? It's thunder. Um, like the electricity just went off earlier. I was like, ah, so, um, yeah, that's what it is. It's not my stomach growling cause I'm hungry. Um, hello everybody. Hey Brenda, good to see you. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I put my, uh, glow in there and this is a bottle of glow and this is a highlighter. It's a little bit different than love, which is a hydrating illuminator. Okay. These are the bigger bottles, but as you can tell, I go through a lot of love right there. So love is more of a fleshy color and then glow is actually a true highlighter. So glow can be used to highlight. Obviously it also can be used to lighten makeup. So if you have a foundation that maybe is too dark, but you don't have any lighter foundations, you can use glow to highlight. All right. Hey, Candy, how are you? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little bit of brow highlight just right on my brow. See how nice and highlighted. Now I will tell you, like I would almost consider this a mess up just because you can see that sharp edge there. So if I didn't tap that out, I could just go back and blend that in a little bit more. So it's not so harsh. Your stylus blends for you. Okay. It, I'm going to put this all on my lid just so, because my lids are darker. 
And so I want to make sure that they are the right color. Um, I'm also going to use it to highlight underneath my eyes and I'm going to bring that down and I'm bringing it down. So when I get to the foundation, I can just, I won't have to use the foundation all the way underneath. I can just kind of go up to about right there. Okay. So when I go underneath my eye, I actually look up and angle my stylus. I'm always tell you guys to leave it level. But when I get to under my eyes, if you want to kind of angle it down just a little to make sure it might help you, especially if you're new, starting out where that it doesn't feel like that's blowing right into your eye. Believe me, you'll get used to it. It feels so good and it won't even phase you. But when you first start out, if you want to do that, you can. So I'm going to look up, start my movement and then pull back on the trigger. Now, remember, you will not go in one spot twice on one pass. There's overlap, but you're constantly moving. Does not have to be big movements. They're little petite movements, okay? So if I want more coverage there, I can go, but I keep moving my hand. Make sense? All right. Let me see if I need a little bit more here. And then that way you don't get any buildup underneath the eyes. It goes on smoothly and it's going to look like your natural skin. All right. It's going to look like your natural skin. It should never look heavy or cakey or settle into wrinkles and crinkles. If not, go back to those steps that I laid out where it talks about how far are, you know, how far you need to be. How, how hard are you pulling back on that trigger? How far back? Um, are you too close? Are you moving enough? Those things are going to be important when to make making sure that you're doing it the correct way. I tell people this over and over. If it's not doing what we say it's going to do, then you need to go back to those steps. Because everybody will love air, airbrush makeup, will love Luminous if they're doing it the right way. All right? So now I'm actually going to mix two shades to show you how you can mix. Now I'm a shade three and I grabbed a shade five and a shade two and they're both the silk four in one. And so I'm going to put in one, two, three. Um, Candy's been practicing on paper. Hey, Elijah, how are you? And let's see. I might need to shake this one up a little bit more. I don't know if this one's been used. So let's see. I might have to pop this one. Since we had our little break, these uh, foundations weren't getting um, blended. So I'm just doing a little bit of two in here as well. That might have been a lot of two. Let me blow some of that out. All right. So now I'm putting the system is on putting my finger at the tip of it where the air is coming out of. And I'm going to back bubble, which means pull back lightly on this. And that's going to mix. That's going to mix those um, shades together. So what's great about that is it doesn't get everywhere. You can mix those together. And when you start, if it's too light or too dark, just put whatever color you need in there and correct it. You don't have to start over. So now I'm going to start at my forehead, lightly pulling back, overlapping where I have the glow, making one pass. Yeah, doing it on paper, you can do paper, paper towel. I suggest something a little heavier, um, like drawing paper, construction paper, um, paper towel works, um, just because you will, it, you'll be able to tell if you are, I mean, if it's soaked or if it's, if you're doing it the correct way. Another thing um, is gauging how close you are, how precise you can get it when you get really close and how far back and what it looks like then. Um, so that's always a great way to do it. All right. So that's one pass and then I'll go back 
and then really work on those areas that I want to cover. So I'm going to blend that up and down my neck. All right, so that's all the foundation I need for, for right now. And then I'm going to go back with my five, shake it up, and I'm going to do some contouring with a five. So you see me do it with darker shades. You see me doing it, uh, you know, with a matte bronzer, things like that. But you don't have, you can do it with one shade darker. Um, if you're new to contouring, that might be something you want to look into uh, doing it just a couple of shades darker because that way it's not going to be too much for you. It'll be just very subtle and it could be very, um, you know, just exactly what you need. So it doesn't have to be the extreme. It can be a little bit lighter. So now with my five, I can go in. and start contouring. I can even contour my nose a bit and down my chin. And see, it's already starting to bring me back to life. See, just a little bit will help you. All right. Do y'all hear that thunder? Oh, it's crazy. I had to go get my parents to go over to my house because my dog um, has PTSD on storms because our house flooded twice. So he gets really nervous. So I had to drug him. And I didn't know it was supposed to rain like this. So the joys. All right. So now I'm going to grab my blush. And our blush is very high pigmented. So I'm gonna put, oh, come on, one. Man, this one does, do I'm almost out of this one? Two, I'm gonna put three. Normally I put two, but I'm putting three right now. Hello, Amber, how are you? All right, so taking my soft rose blush, and I'm going to go right on top of this super, this light contour that I have. I start my movements first. Then I pull back on the trigger and I go back and forth until I get it to, to almost where I want it because it is going to intensify a little bit more. I, I take it almost to that level because I know then it is going to, to come up a little bit or intensify when I'm done. All right, so there we go on that. I have a little bit of sputtering, so I'm gonna run some Tip Top Cleaner through, because I normally do this when I first come back. Um, to make sure that nobody else used it and to make sure it's clean. And it like, it kind of uh, preps it a little bit, I think too. So did everybody have great fun this weekend? Did y'all do anything fun for Father's Day? All right, so now I'm gonna take Love, which is our hydrating illuminator. And I'm going to put just a couple of drops right in there because I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting right on the high part of my cheekbone to grab a little bit of that light, maybe down my nose. I'll do my eyes a little bit too. Right like that. Okay, so right there, bam, foundation, everything is already done. Now, if I'm doing a super, you know, natural um, look where you still want to look like you did something, uh, but you don't want to have to put on a ton of makeup. There's always some cheats that you could do. So contouring with a just a shade or two darker than your foundation 
is a step that you can take baby steps to learn and knit or to get familiar with contouring. Then I'm going to take the Belize compact. We have two different, we have Belize and Bali um, compacts, bronzer compacts. And I'm going to take, you know what? I might take, I think I'll take, let's just do it super, super light. I'm going to take just a flat eyeshadow brush and in where the shimmer part is, I'm going to use that because these have a shimmer and they have a matte. So with the shimmer part, I'm just brushing that through. Super light. A little bit more on this side now. No rhyme or reason, just on the lid, brushing up in little taps. You know what I'm talking about. Little taps. And to get it to that intensity, that look, however you want it. So it can do, you can go lighter, you can go darker, you can do whatever you want. I can also do more contouring with this if I wanted to, or let's say I didn't do it with the airbrush and I wanted to do it with, um, I could apply my blush with airbrush and then go with my compact to do a little more contouring right underneath that blush and then tie everything together too. So I could finish with eyeliner and mascara or just mascara, just curl the lashes and have mascara. So I can go in here, let me do this one. That one as well. Curling your lashes makes a huge difference. It really does open up your eyes. That's why I love the glow underneath because it does brighten underneath, but not, have you, you've seen that, like what I call reverse raccoon where it's super white underneath. And I'm, I don't want that. I want it where it's just going to very subtle, subtly brighten up my eyes where it's not too, too much. All right. Thank you, Amber. Amber's loving this look. Well, there you go, guys. Easy, easy, easy natural makeup for our noon, which is always what I like to do for the noon. Um, oh, but let's do finish some lips. Let's do, what do we want to do for lips? Maybe we'll do Stark. So Stark is a darker uh, lip pencil. But I can always smudge it or do what Renee always does. Add lip jelly to it. The lip jelly, I think, is great for the summer because it does give you some. Oh, I bet I don't have any here. I don't have any here. Oh, but you know what you can do? So I have, I did the um, Stark lip liner and I fill it in, I smudge so it's not a real exact line. Okay. Now I'm going to take the bronze exposure highlighter and I'm wiping it off just a little bit and put that on top. So in a pinch, you can use anything, but I love this color. This is one of my staples. I have to have that. I love that. It can brighten up anything. I could do it here. You can do it on your eyes. You could do it, but look how pretty that is on the lips too. And there you go. Easy, easy. So you learn this by using it. So make sure you are using it. You are practicing. You're looking at the colors and saying, oh, where do I want that color? Not what it has on the bottle, but you can look at the colors and go, okay, where do I want that? Do I want that on my cheeks? Do I want that on my eyes? Whatever the case may be, expand your, your don't get caught in the makeup box as far as using only what it says it's used for 
expand it and see how you can use it. All right, guys. So good to see you today. I will be with you for the rest of the afternoon. So I will see you guys at two o'clock and at four o'clock. So we'll be back. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye for now, guys.